good part three part three i mean of day one um it's evening now as you can see the evening sun is sinking um and uh what are we gonna build to wrap the day up with um let's try to get at least to build um the account overview page where you can also change your account details and maybe we get around also uh, doing the um, when you have forgotten your password to renew your password um, but there's at the moment also an issue with that between uh, Weist and um, Superbase that's not really working right now so probably I'm just gonna um, skip that until um, this issue has been resolved. Um, yes, so what do we start with? Um, let's start in Webflow because of course we need to build this page. Um, which page should I duplicate? Um, at least let me copy this one the trigger and I guess it's handiest to duplicate this one and we call this um, count of view maybe count oh no I'm, I'm making changes instead of duplicating uh, now how do I get out of here mm -hmm. discard discard I said um, duplicate first um, what did I say? Account overview minus this create and then here I'm going to paste the trigger already and I'm going to say account overview and then with company name, name and email password is not something we're going to change here and then this should no, this can keep the same name i think um, and this will be update account and let's make this also update account button mm, that's it i guess all right that's it publish and then we go to here we go refresh and what do we need now we already have the let's let's just get the page and we got on view um i am i'm immediately being thrown out because i'm not logged in now why is that? Because we have the same trigger in place. So let's first log in with this one. Go to the dashboard. And now I should be able to go to account overview. Yes. Okay. Um, so what do we what do I want here? Is that I want uh, that these um, form fields gets populated with the current um, account details which should be relatively easy because we already have all the action in place uh, which means that all the data has already been pulled in so the only thing we need to do is to say okay this should go in that field no. so those are all actions um plus let me just for the sake of the fun of it uh, create account over overview create a folder over you okay yes nice um then um this is gonna be 
company name is it a populate sure populate company name count overview attribute is company name and then the thing is set input value not text because when you set text it's just it like it puts text and actually this is an input field so this is not a text that goes into the input field it's actually the input value that goes there and there we have uh, from all the way in the bottom um, I think yes here so here we have company name done close plus um, this one also uh, Populate name. I'll throw it also in that folder. Attribute name. Select set input value. Bloop, bloop. And here we have name. Close. And then another one. Late email in count overview, and it's going to be email settings is going to be set input value again. And here we have uh, the email there done. Close, close. So now these three should be. Populated. There we go. And my handy example that I have a combi named same as my name that makes it all a bit more confusing. But well, now we know um, that these are two different values. Um, okay, so this is nice. But now, of course, if I make a change here, I want it to change in here the email to change here and in the table users this should also be changed and I see that here somebody has already been playing um, I can delete this I'm going to select it be able to delete this I think can we just do it like this no that's a bit weird I'm going to select it well okay <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's possible to delete it Okay, fine, fine, fine. Um, I guess I haven't set the rights for deleting. Um, okay. Um, so yeah, so this we want to be able to um, update it and also the email address in authentication should then also be updated so how are we gonna do that um, i don't know but i guess it is a data out because we're going out we call it update user details And the app is Superbase, and it is a database. For, it is an authentication function of the user. Um, yeah, why not? So this is then update user, not details. And then here comes. Oh, 
windows and then we need also update user details um, which is super basic again and this is a database function and it is about updating a record database table is users and the record ID is also here somewhere uh, here ID done and then we have data table column is company name and here we go company name data is the name and here we have somewhere input field name and uh, data is email because we also have the email here to be updated as well done so that looks good then with update user i want that after the request perform request um, update user details and let's make this one conditional or write it and this is um, update user details so that is status code that is number seven yep it's correct 200 done and then it runs that one and what do you want to do after it's done um, Probably, um, probably well, here, no, nothing, thank you. Probably after it's done, we should put some kind of text there, like uh, your details have been updated. But then I need to go back to that. So now I need an action. And that's gonna trigger it. Okay, name update um, update update user um, we can put it there as well and the trigger is gonna be the button I didn't see the button right no refresh that's weird and I don't understand you know I've refreshed the page and then it seems that the attributes don't also refresh. You need to refresh and the page and the attributes. That seems a bit um, not logic. Okay, so I say, okay, this is the button. So you see lighting up, on click, and then we want to perform a request. And that is gonna be um, update user. And then here I should have some kind of success message or something. Where do I usually put that? Put it here? Use this I've not dated? Or should I just put it under the headline? Hello. Your account details. Updated. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Um, then we call this wised um, update success. So the two C's and two S's. 
fuck it, no. I didn't get some. Succession movie. Success? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Cool. It's, uh, it's a lot. Uh, this is, uh, this can just be hidden here. I don't need to see that. Um, and then um, publish. And back here. Refresh. And then probably here I can say set visibility. Uh, no, 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 visibility. Okay. Uh, I know. Then no. No, 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 no. Okay. So this is close. And then I need the a new action. Um, up, up, update. Update. Success. In account overview attribute. Mm. Update success. Can I see? So you only need to refresh the attributes and not actually this whole thing. Probably to refresh is wise. Okay. Update success. And then this is set visibility. Visible if. And that is when update user um, um, status got is it is done. Company name um, Marcel does something. Update account. Your account details has been updated. Okay, is that so? Let's see. And uh, this one. So does something. Alright. Not bad, mister. So, okay. So we can now update our account. Cool. But, well, we probably I should add here also an, uh, an account menu kind of thing, I think. Yes. Account menu. Making it into the account overview and into the dashboard. Should I do that now? Or should we see if the password thing works? Let's see if the password thing works. Because that is a bit more exciting. Index. Um, so we have a login, and then we say, yeah, I don't have a password, and then we just have an email and a request password. Um, that is a data out, because we are requesting the password, so that's plus, and this is request, um, password request, just like that, everything with password is together uh, alphabetically and the app is super base and it is an authentication thing i guess um, request password change yeah it's all right this yeah it is an 
request yeah request password change and this is then um, an email redirect to ah yeah redirect to because this then redirects to a page where you have an input field for your new password so first things first and that is um, shall I yes suckering suck dash um, passport Paste section change password, and then here we have. Um, I guess this only needs to be. Should this still have the email address in it? password maybe change oh, change okay so um, this can remain the same I don't care about that this one has to get a new name and that will be change password okie dokie publish and then it should go to this one. So why is we go back redirect to there? And capture I don't care much about. And after request nothing happens. Right? Yes. Okay. And something should happen. A little message would be nice, probably. Um, and then an action plus name, password, request. And then interview this. Password request button settings on click select from request and password request. Close. Plus um, password request error. And if I attribute that should be password request error setting um, set text 
text type, plain text, data. Um, this one uh, here, password recovery requires an email. So that's when it's wrong. Good, I want something else. The so so this should be an if this then that kind of thing. Now that I have not done in a while, but luckily um, app has dashboard. We have help center and there we have formulas and there was here um, if this then that kind of thing this or that um, if if this I forgot how, how this was uh, turns name if name is present otherwise if this then that if not then that so was it that's the way it was. Um, so this is just so if this then that if not then that. Okay, so if this there is a message then that and if not Oh no, I can do if um, um, if this I don't know if this gonna work. Status code is 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 oh no is not two hundred then the message and if it is two hundred then the text string um you an email with a link to reset your password is um, um, has been sent has been sent. Okay, so if the state code is not 200, then the message, otherwise, to the other. Should work. Only thing is, that I don't know if I have to put this in separate brackets, yes or no. Is there anything here that kind of looks like that? This baby. Let's see. Here we do it also. And then I put it like these things around it. Okay, we'll see. We'll see, we'll see. Ah, there's already an error. Mm -hmm. 
There is already an error, so that is not correct. But I think that there's also a message when it is running correctly. Maybe not. That's right. Is that there? So this is a valid token. And that's a bit weird because it's exactly the same as here. The name to the name. I don't know if I do a message or I take this away. Freaking commas were on. These are the wrong commas. These are stupid quotation marks. Hey, come on, waste. If you give examples, get good ones. Okay, so back to the drawing board. So here I want to say, if not, then an email with a link to reset. Password has been sent out. Let's see if, if it's correct, if it then still gives a thing of a jig. Okay, walk out. Again. Oh yeah, that is funny. That's this. Oh. oh, this is also not completely accurate. Password record requires an email. Now if I actually do give an email, Oh yeah, but that was the error that I got before as well. So this is something that goes wrong with um, whatever Weist is sending and what uh, Superbase is receiving. It somehow doesn't get recognized as being an email. No idea why. So let's leave that at that until um, I got some feedback from the support team of ICE to see if they have found a solution to this. Um, and here we had a problem that if I say look in. I need to change that. I want it when I close that everything is visible again for the login. An email with a link to a secret has been sent out is just not 
we do yet. Okay, I'm gonna leave this uh, for what it is at the moment, since it's not working anyways. And there are some trickery tri tricks here that I need to do, because of course this should not be visible yet, so I have to um, hide it in a different way. Um, but yeah, anyways, I need to. I cannot even test it at the moment, so. But okay, we can log in. That still works. So, okay, so that's it for today. So at the end of day one, where I pretty much have worked for, I don't know, what is it? Two hours, two and a half hours maybe? I mean, it's crazy in in this short time starting with a blank canvas in in uh, webflow with no setup database with uh, no project in waste in this in these three hours let's say we created um, that we can log in we can log out we can create an account we can update an account uh, change the password, we still have uh, an error there and uh, we uh, have we see uh, uh, in the account page we see our details uh, we have like what is the, the ultimate bare bones of a dashboard where we also have populated it with the name of the user I mean this is this is crazy for three hours work. I mean, it's completely ridiculous. Um, tomorrow is going to be a different story. Tomorrow I'm going to work on adding Stripe um, to the mix. So that means I'm going to create a project in, in uh, another project, a product in Stripe. It is like a multi subscription kind of thing. And there's going to be an uh, when people fill in their account details to create an account. Instead of creating an account, they're going to the payment funnel. So they're going to get a page that comes out of Stripe where they fill in the credit card details and they press the button. And then they land on the dashboard page and they have from that moment onwards multi subscriptions. And when that is done, I'm also going to add OpenAI to the mix and we can like create an app in which we auto generate whatever we think is nice uh, by using a well measured prompt that is going to be um, filled uh, or that's going to have like blanks in it there where content is going to come into from from a form field or from different form fields or check boxes or whatever you can come up with so yeah that is the plan for tomorrow so let's see how that goes and i'll be back then bye